Hello, WealthLab 8 users, Glitch here. Today we're going to talk about what's new in WealthLab 8 Build 35, so let's get started. Build 35 contains a number of minor enhancements and fixes and even a few new indicators. You can read about all of those in the release log, but I just want to talk about the major new enhancement in Build 35, and that is a new feature of our strategy, Genetic Evolver. So the Evolver generates random strategies and over many generations it mutates them and the best strategies rise to the top and variations of them are created and this goes on you know perpetually basically until now uh, with this new feature enable apex strategy collection you can tell the evolver to stop and record the best strategy that it found once the top 10 strategies, and that's configurable here, are within a certain similarity threshold. So I'm going to say once the top 10 strategies that you find, and let's start the Evolver while I'm describing this, once the top 10 strategies are at least 80% similar, which means that they share a lot of the same genes, we're going to stop this process and record the best one and put it in a new list, in this Apex Strategies list. So you'll notice here as it's now doing Generation 2, uh, Generation 3, you can see this current similarity score. So right now the top 10 strategies that it, it evolved are 34% similar, and now they're 41% similar. So as it goes on, it'll, you know, it should keep climbing until it hits that 80% threshold, which means it found a good kind of species of, of strategy that it, it's not really able to improve upon uh, during this run. So let's let's let it continue. I'll pause the video until we reach that 80% threshold and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're currently at 73. Let's see if this thing can hit 80. We're now at 78. So you'll notice all of the strategies are you know, very similar genes. Okay, now we hit 80. So we have collected now one Apex strategy, and you'll notice that the Evolver has completely reset. So all of these are now new random strategies. So let's stop it. Let's let it complete its current generation and take a look at the Apex strategy list. So, so this is the best strategy that it came up with in that run with a 7.69 return. You can double click that. You can run that in a strategy window. We get the same return here. We have an equity curve. It only made a couple of trades. So, you know, I wouldn't really be that thrilled about this one. But what we'll do is we will continue, resume the process until we collect maybe five or so Apex strategies. And then we'll come back and take a look at them. Okay, so we've just collected our fifth Apex strategy. So let me stop the Evolver here and let's take a look at what we have. So the Evolver stopped. Let's now look at our Apex strategy. So we have five of them, a stable of Apex strategies. Let's take a look at the best performing one here, the fourth one. So we're buying the next bar at market close when there are five consecutive bars where the low is greater than the low five bars ago. Uh, we are selling at a limit 2.44% above the open price. So interesting. So this strategy is trying to get quick 2.5% uh, gains on the next bar based on the current bar's open price. Let's uh, let's open that up and let's run it. With the result here. Yeah, we have the matching 14.8% return. Here's our equity curve. Uh, quite a number of trades. Looks like it actually was keeping up with the benchmark roughly uh, until the bear market started, at which point it's actually exceeding the benchmark. So interesting result. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Let's go back to our Evolver. Let's look at the next 
best one. It's number two here. So this one will enter when there are eight consecutive bars where the close is less than the close of four bars ago. That's our consec down indicator. When that condition is met, it will attempt to uh, buy at a 1% below the average price. So let's take a look at some representative trades. So here is our consecutive down of, as of four bars ago. And here we have that limit reached. It's equal to eight, as we can see. And we have our limit entry. And the exit of this one is a simple five bar exit. So there's a couple of the trades you can cycle through, you know, each of the positions, get a look at the dynamics of the strategy in action. But there we go. These are our Apex strategies. You can collect them, let it run overnight, see what kind of Apex strategies you're able to gather. Hopefully this opens up a bit more space in the genetic evolver. Hopefully this will let you explore and develop some great new strategies of your own. And as always, if you do, be sure to share them on our forum. And until then, see you there.